Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, DNY, took a shot at Representative Lauren Bobert, R. Collo, on Twitter early Wednesday morning after the Republican shared a holiday photo of her family holding guns in defense of a colleague who came under fire for doing the same. Representative Thomas Massey, Archive, faced backlash for a photo of him and his family posing with various rifles days after a school shooting had taken place in Michigan. Bovet did the same, albeit with younger children. The continuation of the theme led Ocasio-Cortez to accuse the Republicans of not being true to the spirit of Christmas. Tell me again where Christ said, use the commemoration of my birth to flex violent weapons for personal political garn. Lol at all the years Republicans spent on cultural hysteria of society, rassing Christmas and its meaning, sick, when they're doing that fine all on their own, Ocasio Cortez tweeted just after midnight, sharing a post of Bobit's family photo. When you pose in front of a Christmas tree and can name all those guns but can't name the gifts of the wise men, she tweeted soon after. The Democrat played on the irony that it is normally Republicans who accuse Democrats of taking the meaning out of the Christian holiday. Bobit, who has been highly critical of Ocasio-Cortez and her fellow squad of far-left Democratic lawmakers, shared her family photo just a few hours before Ocasio-Cortez's response. The Republican Congresswoman included the message, The Bobits have your six, at Rep. Thomas Massey, telling Massey that they have his back in the wake of him being criticized for his own picture. Bobit and Ocasio-Cortez have been taking aim at each other in recent weeks, with the Democrat calling for Bobit to be kicked off of congressional committees for her derogatory comments directed at fellow squad member Representative Ilan Omar, D. Min. In early November, Bobit mocked Ocasio-Cortez's infamous Met Gala dress that was emblazoned with the slogan Tax the Rich. In a November photo she took with former President Trump, Bobert wore a gown bearing the words Let's Go Brandon, a phrase commonly used as a pejorative against President Biden.